SEO is a battlefield, and AI-generated content is the latest weapon. But here's the real question. Do AI models actually help your pages rank, or do they just add more noise? We put the biggest AI models to the test. Google, OpenAI, Meta, Alibaba, and a few others to find out which one delivers SEO-friendly content straight out of the box. And the results? They were shocking. Stay tuned because we're revealing which AI is the best for SEO and why most of them are secretly making your content worse. All right, here's how we tested them. We took some of the biggest AI models and gave them two prompts. The first prompt, write a basic 1,000 word article and we gave it no SEO instructions. The second prompt, we said write an SEO optimized 1,000 word article with no other guidance. We then ran these articles through Page Optimizer Pro to see how well they followed SEO best practices. We scored them on factors like pop score. Pop score is a report card for how well the AI follows best practices. Higher scores mean better content for ranking on Google. Usually pages see movement in Google when they hit an 80% score in pop, so we're looking to see if any of the AI can put out a score of at least 80%. Word count. Longer word count can be better for SEO, but only if it stays relevant and useful. Readability. Was it easy to read? We used the Flesh Kincaid score. So it has a reading E score and a higher score means easier reading and also reading level. So the content was labeled with like high school or college or graduate, et cetera, to gauge the complexity. SEO structure, for example, title tags, did the AI create effective titles? Headline, was it relevant to the topic? Subheadings, did the AI break the content into useful sections? Content length, did it write enough in each section? And we asked it for a thousand words, will it give us a thousand words? And Google NLP, did the AI include enough related terms for search relevant? Now let's break down the winners and losers. We expected AI models to enhance content when prompted for SEO. For example, expanding word count and improving things like LSI and keyword variations. Instead, they did the opposite, producing less content, using fewer relevant words, and completely failing to optimize for SEO. First up, the best overall performer, Quen 2.5 Max, and this is from Alibaba. Across the board, it had the highest pop scores, it structured the content pretty well, and it had the best keyword usage of all the other tools. However, it's important to note, it didn't get anywhere near where it needed to be for keyword usage. If you must use AI for SEO, this model is your best bet as a starting point. The worst, Gemma 2, and it's from Google. It performed poorly in almost every category. If you're using this for SEO without heavy editing, ranking will be difficult. The biggest glow up, uh, that's the Llama 3.1 from Meta. It started at the bottom, but it massively improved just when asking it to give an SEO optimized article. So the best of the worst for SEO optimized content, Quen 2.5 Max, GPT 4.0, and Claude 3.5 Sonnet. If you're aiming for mediocre results, these models might get you to page five on Google. They do fall in structures better than the rest, but still miss the mark on actual content depth and keyword strategy. When analyzing for how will AI generated content incorporated LSI terms and variations, we found shocking results. Most models either failed to increase variations or actively removed them, making their SEO performance worse. This test revealed something even more concerning. AI generated SEO content isn't just bad, it's deceptively bad. At first glance, it might seem like pop scores increasing while main content depth and LSI terms are decreasing is a contradiction. But actually, this exposes a fundamental flaw in AI generated SEO content. Here's why. Pop scores reflect how well content follows SEO best practices, things like proper use of headings and subheadings, title tags, keyword placement, structural organization, readability and formatting. AI models figure out how to win in these categories without actually improving the substance of their content. They optimize for the easiest SEO wins, which is headings and formatting, while making the most important part, the main content, worse. In other words, they formatted content nicely, but Google doesn't rank formatting, it ranks relevance. They missed keyword opportunities, making the content weaker, and they failed to align Google's NLP expectations, reducing their ranking power. So if you think AI can simply replace human SEO experts, think again. AI can assist, but if you want to actually rank, you need expert optimization. If you want to be sure your content is optimized for SEO best practices and has the best chance to rank high in Google, use Page Optimizer Pro. And if you've been burned by mediocre AI writing tools before, tools that write generic garbage, use poor structure, and tank your rankings, it's time to try the one built by experts who write content every day for the past 15 years. Pop AI has always been designed to bridge the gap between content that reads well and content that wins in search. And now, it does it even better. We've rebuilt it from the ground up to deliver smarter keyword handling, clearer structure, higher quality writing, all while keeping the same best-in-class SEO. If you're ready to scale content that performs and reads naturally to humans, fire up the new Pop AI and watch your rankings rise. Stay tuned for tomorrow. I'll walk you through how I use Pop AI.